Hey everybody, it's Ann Turnbull. Great to see you all here today. We are we are on day 22 of the 90 day run. So I'm happy that you are joining us tonight. And uh, once you get on the stream, just let people know we are starting and just drop a note into the chat and let me know where you're dialing in from as well. I'm trying to get my my uh, Facebook stream up in my other device so that I can see you and you don't have to hear me twice. All right, awesome. So welcome once again, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Great to see you. And oh, good, here we are. Okay, fantastic. So we are, we are going to get started right away. And I am here to bring you up to speed on day 22 of the 90 day challenge. So uh, for those of you who have been joining us all the way along, fantastic. If you've been part of the Accelerator 90 day run and you are on a run, if you've been joining us for each of the days, type a number 90 into the chat. If you've been joining us for each of the 90 days, type a number 90 into the chat. Now, I know that some of you may be catching up, or maybe you've missed a day here and there, or maybe you feel a bit behind, but you have been participating, you've been trying, you've been uh, working at it, but maybe you just feel like you're a little bit behind. That's okay, too. That's fine. If you're, if you're participating in the 90-day run, but you don't feel quite caught up or quite fully in, um, put a five into the chat. Put a five into the chat. And if you really have not been participating at all, you're here, you're just here to listen to the training. You really don't even know what it's all about. You don't even know what the 90 day run is all about at all. Then put a one into the chat. And if you're somewhere in between, put a, an in between. So we've got a 90. You can also make that a 10. If you're a 10 out of 10, you've been here all along, you've been playing. You've got a five if you're kind of halfway there, halfway in, not quite fully in and a one if you don't even know what this is all about. All right, so, so let's see uh, where, we're, where we all are. Just type, type where you are into the chat, a one, a five, a 10, or somewhere in between. All right, somewhere in between. And what I'm going to do today is a couple of things. I'm going to talk about um, some things that you need to get from zero to six figures. And when we're talking six figures, we're talking six figures in US dollars for those of you who are dialing in from other countries. And um, the three things that we heard from one of our million dollar mentors uh, in the chat on the weekend. All right. So many of us are part of the accelerator program. We are getting live coaching from Eric Worre every day. And then on Mondays, we have a million dollar Hall of Fame network marketer come in and share some knowledge and wisdom and insights with us. And this weekend's uh, million dollar mentor was really kind of neat because uh, it's, it's Rakan, he's a really young guy. Some of you at GoPro might remember him. He's in his twenties and uh, he lives in Toronto, although he's built a huge team in the Middle East and he's originally from the Middle East, but he lives in Toronto and he lives right next to in the same buildings that um, I used to live at when I lived in Toronto and right next to where our Crown Diamonds, Chris and Tammy, um, live when they're living in Toronto. Of course, they split their time between their Florida home and their Toronto home. So uh, it's kind of neat to hear from, from Rakan and, uh, and hear what he has to say. Sharp, sharp guy, uh, focus driven and moving, you know, moving. He's, he's making a lot of money, doing really, really well in his business. And so there's always things that we can learn from people that are ahead of us. And today we're all going to learn together. Okay, we're all going to learn together. All right, so let's get started. I'm going to start with the million dollar um, uh, call notes. And then I'm going to go through a little bit of a recap um, for those people that might be feeling a bit overwhelmed, a bit lost. You know, what I find is that the more I do it, um, the more it sinks into me. And so I'm going to do a little bit of a recap and a, a few of my own experiences, even some from today, that might give you a little bit of um, insight into how to go about this 90 day run. So today's topic is how to go from zero to six figures 
um, and really blow up your network marketing business. And Rakan talked about three different areas, okay? The first is belief, the second is systems, and the third is leadership. And so belief is the first, and this is not gonna be a long training, all right? But I need you to understand something. It's so, 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 so important. Belief is simply what you know is true. What you know is true for you. Whatever it is, it is the truth. Okay, so if you believe that the business is hard, it's hard. If you believe that um, the business is easy and fun, guess what? It's easy and fun. If you believe that you will make it to the top no matter what, then you will. If you believe you're the best, if you believe you're growing, if you believe you're learning, if you believe you're making impact, whatever you believe is what is true. And that's it. Okay, so you have to find ways of encouraging yourself and your belief. You know, uh, Rakan talks about, he wakes up every day, first thing he does when he gets up, or first thing he does when he opens up his eyes, he'll, he'll talk to himself, you know, you're amazing, you're the best. That's what he tells himself every day. Hey champ, you're the best, you know? What do you tell yourself every day? I saw a great post from, from Dr. Izzy today on Facebook. She said that, um, you know, don't, don't speak badly about yourself. I don't know the exact words she used, but, but what do you tell yourself? You know, I, I, I will talk to myself. My mom will laugh at me. She'll, she'll say, are you talking to yourself? <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> you know, if you need to, if you need to get better at, at um, feeling great about your belief, you know, there are, some, there are some things you can do to build your belief. You can read personal development books. You can, uh, there, there's one book from Mel Robbins called High Five. And it, and it just talks about how to give yourself a high five every day in the mirror, you know? And I was doing that with her book over the holidays, you know, high five, Annie, you've got this, you're amazing. I was doing that to myself in the mirror. It, it felt a little bit funny, but you can't help but smile and feel great. So you need to believe that you can do it. You need to believe that this business is amazing. You need to believe that you will get there. And you need to believe um, in every aspect of what we're doing. You know, we always talk about three aspects. Believe in yourself, all right? Believe in the company and what you have to offer and believe in the business and profession of network marketing. So the most important thing is to believe in yourself. That's really, really important. So make sure that you're reading every day. Spend 20 minutes reading and developing yourself personally, feeding yourself with positive, positive information, okay? Positive knowledge. Um, work on yourself, all right? And, and find ways that you can build that belief, build that confidence, build your skills, all right? One of the ways you build your belief in yourself is just by trying things, trying things, baby things, you're going to see me starting to do things um, on social media that I haven't done before. I don't know how to do them. I was on WAPS training last night. I don't know how to do those things. He was going so fast. My head was spinning. But guess what? There's Mr. Google. Mr. Google can tell us everything. All right, we don't need to wait for someone to train us. I'm just going to try it. I'm going to do it. It might be messy. It's fine. It's fine. So we need to just try it. We gain more confidence as we as we go. All right. So try things, ask for guidance, ask for mentorship, grow, learn, but build that belief in yourself. Build that belief in our company. Okay. If you haven't seen the products working well for you or for someone close to you, ask people around you, what have you seen with these products? Oh my goodness. You know, that's one thing from the very beginning that I was so rock solid on is that our products are incredible. They are incredible. If we don't open our mouths, people are going to die. People are going to lose their health. People are going to not be able to live their best life because we have not opened our mouth about the incredible products that we have. And they truly make a difference. You have to know that and feel that in your heart, in your gut, in your soul. You have to know that. 
and believe in our company, okay? It's not always easy. Everyone takes missteps. We don't always love everything they do. I'm sure they don't love everything that we do or I do, but they have never missed a pay. They pay very well. They do so many great things for us. We have amazing trips, um, always in touch with the field, you know, always doing things that will help us grow. I am so grateful to be part of our amazing company. And I really, really have such strong belief that we will go wherever we need to go to rise to the very cream of the crop in this profession. And in our profession, network marketing, you definitely, you definitely can't you can't not have belief. You just can't, okay? If you have never been successful and you've tried before, then it's about you. Maybe about the mentorship you've had, maybe about the skills and the training, but you cannot not believe in the industry. All you have to do is attend one GoPro event and see you know, 25 new Hall of Fame, million dollar a year um, inductees, right? All you have to do is look at the highest paid network marketing uh, women in health and wellness, Stormy Wellington making over a million dollars every single month. Network marketing is a business that actually pays. So build your belief, talk to people, do what you need to, to gain that confidence and tell yourself good things every single day. I have things, uh, post-it notes on my, uh, you won't maybe be able to see them because I have a blur, but I have, uh, let's see. Business is coming with a happy face. I always do happy face and a little bit of hair on top because that makes it seem like it's me. Growth is on the way. I have, so right beside my office, everywhere I look, I have, I have positive things staring at me. Um, leaders are emerging. I, I always look for positive things, okay? So have that belief. That's number one. Number two, systems. Systems, systems, systems. So, we are getting better and better and better and better at systems. And what I love about what we're learning together during this 90 day run is that we are learning very simple approaches to talk to people, to follow up and close, to um, handle objections. All right, amazing, amazing approaches. And so we have very simple systems. They're really not difficult. You have to find people first. Okay, so you have to prospect, you have to invite them to take a look at what we have. And you're going to connect them to a tool. All right, so you see our new presentation, we talk about plugging in, we are in the plug and play economy, what you are doing is you are finding people and you are connecting them to max connecting them to information, plugging them in to information. Okay, it's not you necessarily being the one who is the information. It's a video. It's a presentation. Okay, it's maybe a live event or a different kind of event, but you are always connecting them to information to a tool or a presentation, and then you're following up. And now in the follow up, you have the six question close, we're going to go through that. And then if you want to, you can introduce them to somebody else for third party credibility that may help them get the confidence they need to make the decision and then get them started have that crucial conversation and get them started. Okay, so it's it's really simple when you boil it down. It's really, really simple. We have amazing, great uh, videos to share with people, an incredible new presentation that we're running here three times in a, in a week, every Tuesday, every Thursday, every Saturday. I know that um, there are Spanish presentations happening uh, in, in other markets and I think French as well, and we'll start sharing them here as well. So you have everything you need to make this super simple. What you need to do is use the system. And what you need to do is teach your people exactly what to do. Okay, so make sure that you have a system, you're following it, and people know what to do. And then the third thing is leadership. Okay, you want to become a leader yourself. And a leader is not someone who has reached the top of the, co of the compensation plan. A leader is someone who steps up. You know, I was having a great conversation with one of our associates the other day, and um, I asked him what he wanted to be known as, what he wanted his brand to say about him when people look at him. He said he wants he himself and also his team to be known as the team that shows up, that steps out first, that supports their upline and supports their downline. 
that steps out of their comfort zone to make contribution even when they're not ready. That's what he wants to be known as. That is a leader, right? Right. Doesn't matter if you don't have a rank, if you're in your first week in the business, that is leadership right there. Show up every day. Get out of your comfort zone and contribute. Contribute. You know, if there's an opportunity to grow, put your hand up and say, me, I want to grow. What do I have to do? Let me learn. You know, show me where to go learn. I'll learn. I'll come back to you and show you what I've learned. That is leadership. And as you start to build your team, you now have to start developing other leaders. Okay. One of the things that I um, look for in my daily method of operation is growing someone every day. Okay. For me, I tend to... Um, maybe not serve myself and others as well as I could because I tend to do too much. And that's my own um, personality and it doesn't serve me and it doesn't serve you either. So I look to grow people um, as much as I can and consciously look for ways I can do that. Rather than doing something for someone, I will show them where they can go and learn to do it themselves. You in developing yourself and you teaching your team, you always want to teach them where to go and look for it themselves or teach them not even to ask the question, teach them to, to know that it's up to them. They will find the answer, right? Like I said, I don't know how to do a reel. I'm gonna Google it, I'm gonna figure it out. There's a million things on Google, right? If, if you don't know how to do something, Google it and figure it out. If you don't know what something is, try and figure it out first before you come with your questions. Okay, so leadership is firstly becoming a leader yourself. All right, and then leadership is, is looking for those that you can develop into leaders as well. And how do you find those leaders? Leaders are people that when given an assignment, they come back with the assignment done and they say, what's next? Okay, that's how you know you've got the, the, the start of a leader on your hand. When you're starting to work with someone and we're going to talk about assignments, we're going to talk about how to get your person started. When you start working with someone and you give them an assignment, all right, and they come back right away and it's done. And then they come back again and then they come back again. You've got a leader on your hand like crazy. And now you can start to work with that leader. And, you know, um, a leader means that you have a vision for where you want to go. You have, um, you're in action, right? You're not waiting for anyone else before you go into action. Um, you have uh, integrity, of course, right? You have integrity. You have commitment. You have commitment. So you want to be able to develop leaders on your team that can do what you do, even when you're not there. Imagine if you had 10 U's, you're all here watching this training, which means you're already, you're already up to something. You're already leaders. Imagine if you had 10 of you, 20 of you, right? Imagine if you had five Chris and Tammy's in your team or five Watt Masters or five Dr. Izzy's or five Anne's, right? That would be incredible. We're all looking for that. So you have to be able to spot those people and find a way to cultivate that leadership. And one of the ways we do that is through assignments. So we're going to talk about that. So I am going to um, pause there for a minute and I want to uh, recap, okay? So I'm actually gonna get a, a slide or two up. Let me just grab that here. And share it, okay. So I want to um, just do a little bit of recap. So, and again, I don't know if you've been with us for the full uh, 90 day run so far. I know that even for me, I've just come back to Nigeria a few days ago. I've just finally got settled. Um, I, I, I feel behind. So if you're like me, you maybe feel behind, it's fine. Remember, there's no blame, there's no shame. <laughs> you just do what you can. All right. If you feel like, wow, this 90 day run is overwhelming, then do what you can. OK, for for me, I've started having conversations again in earnest today and they were all so amazing that but I didn't have enough of them. 
I didn't have enough of them. So I had like three fairly lengthy, three or four fairly lengthy conversations. Um, two have said, yes, they're paying this weekend. One is, it was a follow-up. I used the clothes. I'm going to tell you about that in a minute. One was um, we got cut two thirds of the way. So I'll finish up with him after this call. Um, and one was, um, oh my gosh, one was on my chicken list and he's agreed to look at the next information and we're talking again tomorrow night. And I used all of the approaches that we had right here. And one was a brand new one and it was awesome. And uh, we didn't finish that conversation either because he had to go into a meeting. So, you know, here's what I will tell you about that. When you are having conversations, results will happen. And when you're having them, results will happen. So for us, it's about quantity. It's about quantity. And most of us are not doing enough. I'm not doing enough. I'll tell you that right now. So we all need to move up our intensity. If you're, if you're in fully, fully, fully into the 90 day run, then you should be really focusing and concentrating your energy. But if you're not doing it fully, just at least if you've been doing two conversations, try and do five. If you've been doing five, try and do seven. Try and just move up your activity level to some degree. Now, the prospecting process at a glance, this is just a quick recap, because the more you hear it, the more you will, it will sink into you. Remember that all business is conversation, okay? All business is conversation. And our job is to educate. That's our job, to educate. We're not there to convince. We're not there to force. We're there to educate and let someone make a decision on if this is right for them or not. So the prospecting process at a glance is simply conversations, okay? You're going to have as many conversations as you can. I'm going to talk about what kind of conversations you can have in just a minute. Then the next step is an exposure. Again, connecting them into a tool either a video, a presentation, or some other information, that's called an exposure. So you start with a conversation, you expose them to some information, and then you do your six question close. I'm gonna go through that in a moment. That's what I've been doing today. I'm gonna to share how that went. It was really, really fun. And that's what I've been doing for the last few days. And I learned this a long time ago from Eric, but honestly, I haven't been doing it. And now that I'm doing it exactly as we're taught, it's been really fantastic. And then from that six question close, you're gonna get a yes or a no um, or the next exposure. I did two in full today. I got two yeses. I'm going to be doing more. I'm sure every time it's been a yes. All right, it's been a yes so far. So that's been amazing. Of course, in Africa, we, we have to wait till they actually pay because people don't have credit cards where you can just jump online and, and, and necessarily um, sign up right on the spot, but um, it's a good start. And then just keep repeating the process until you get a decision, a yes or a no decision. Now, as we go through the other bits of recap, all right, um, and this is going to be posted in the Facebook group so that you can access it just as a quick reminder for yourself, because for me, I find it useful and helpful. So in the conversations, the ones that we have learned so far, IPA stands for Income Producing Activities. And what you want to make sure you're doing, if you have, let's say, two hours a day to devote to your max business, or maybe four hours a day, or maybe you're doing it full time, make sure that you are devoting about 80 to 90% of your time on income producing activities. Even as a crown diamond, um, it's still, I, I want to build a new team. I know that all of us are doing the same thing. And so even we should be devoting 80% of our time to income producing activities. Sometimes it's very hard to do that because we're spending other time developing tools and programs and, and training, but we need to, all of us collectively, increase our income producing activities time. But it's a good guideline, 80 to 90% is on income producing activities. The rest is on learning, is on personal development, it's on other things, but most of it should be on income producing activities. Now, the types of conversations you can have, hot market practice support, that means as your new people are starting, you go to your closest family and friends, closest. 
you tell them, listen, this I I'm I'm I've started something new. I'm I'm really committed to it. I'm really excited by it. I don't want you to sign up. I don't want you to join my business. But I always valued your support, and it would mean the world to me if you could just try the product for a month. Would you do that and give me your support and give me your feedback? Okay, that's hot market support. Hot market practice again, closest friends and family, because sometimes they're the toughest. You go to them and you say, you know, I, I'm I'm started this. I'm committed. I want to go all the way to the top. I'm so excited. And um, I need to practice. Can I practice on you? You're one of my closest friends. You're someone who's always supported me. You're my sister. Can I just practice on you and you can give me your feedback and then practice the script and the inviting tool. Okay, warm market direct is going to people you know, that's your warm market. Hot market is people you know super well. Warm market is people you know. And say, you know what? What I was thinking about who I would most love to work with. Oh my goodness, you were the you were one of the first that came to mind. I would love to partner with you. I think you would be amazing in this business. All right. So you're actually going to them directly and using the script. Okay, building the relationship using the script. Indirect warm market is asking them for their opinion, for their advice, for their um, you know, referrals. You know, listen, I know this business is probably not a fit for you, but I would really appreciate it if you could just look at something for me and then um, give me your advice on how you see it going in this marketplace or give me your opinion around um, the value of the product that you see or uh, give me your support in thinking of one or two people that might be a good fit for this business. Okay, so you're asking for support. You're not your, and of course, they may say, well, wait a minute, what about me? I would be interested. So that's indirect. You're not telling them it's directly for them. You're asking for them to look at it and give you some advice or support or thoughts. Then the chicken list. This is the super indirect, super indirect, okay? Um, I did a follow-up with one of my chicken list people today, and he he is, uh, I, I went to a new country to, to build in the market, and he was um, the head of, the previous head of the medical association for the country, and um, he's in the news everywhere. Um, you don't even see the current head. All you see is him. All of his titles say past president. He's got a resume the size of you know, <laughs> the mile long. Uh, I'm not even a doctor. So it was really, it was really, um, it was a bit chicken like for me to even call him up. And, um, and I did use an indirect approach when I called him up. This was last year and asked him to look at something and give me his opinion on if he thought that this would be a valuable product in his country. Okay. So um, he hasn't really been too accessible. I finally did meet with him. I met with his wife. I actually learned that he has done some network marketing before. You know, he says he's thinking about it, uh, evaluating. Um, and I haven't really been able to reach him since. Uh, I have been not so diligent on my follow up, but I haven't reached him. So I just called him out of the blue today. And uh, he didn't have my Nigeria number. So he picked up and I had to really remind him of who I was. He didn't really know who I was. But finally, I got through. He knew who I was. And he agreed he's going to look at some information. And I'm calling him tomorrow night at 8. Um, because I told him, we, let's, make, let's make some decisions, see where we're going. So that was, you know, that was fun. But that, for me, was my, my chicken list. Because you know, I view him as someone that I don't have anywhere near the qualifications of to talk to. Then. The warm market um, for so super indirect, by the way, means that, um, you know, you're you're totally disqualifying them. Look, I know this business, you're, you're far too, you're far too important. You're far too rich. Uh, you're far too um, busy to even consider something like this. But I know you will know one or two people that would be a great fit. And you've been someone I've admired for a long time. I would really appreciate it if you could just spend five, 10 minutes, whatever it is you want them to do and take a look and see if you might give me um, one or two people that you could link me up to that might be a good fit for this. Okay, that's what super indirect is. And then warm market business is, is starting with a business conversation. Okay, so people who have had a business before 
or asking them, have they ever wanted to start a business? Why not? Why uh, did they ever have a business? How did it go? Usually they will, they'll talk about some problems and then you can go through your script to introduce them to what you have. So those are the conversations. Now, we haven't yet got to the cold market in this 90 day run. I know many of us are working on cold market. These scripts and the approaches work equally well on cold market. Okay, I've built my entire global business on cold market, meaning I find people I don't know on social media, I build relationships with them, and then I share a tool and I follow up and close. Okay, that's always what I have done for 12, well, not for 12 years, but as long as I've been um, really seriously building, like maybe for eight, nine, 10 years. Okay, so um, all of these approaches will work very well as well. The focus is you have to build a relationship. Okay, that's also number one. Now, um, sharing the tool, the script, okay? It's right here on the second uh, chart. So sharing the tool is super easy. So once you've built the rapport, um, you're gonna say, listen, you know, I have this, uh, I have a short video that will take you about three minutes to watch or two short videos that will take you less than 10 minutes to watch. If I send you a link so that you could watch them, would you watch them? So if I would you, always if I would you, if I sent you a link to our website, would you go through it? And by the way, I don't recommend that you just send a, a, a link to the max.com website. That's going to be too much uh, for the average person. Um, so you want to direct them to where exactly you want them to go. So right now we have gocmax.com, which has two short videos. We might look at changing um, the first one to the, one of the new videos, which was really super, but we'll take a look at that as well. But we all have tools, okay? There's plenty of tools. If I invited you to a special presentation that's happening tomorrow night at seven, would you come? All right, we have our three presentations every week. That's also an option. And then, um, so you've done the if I would you, and then how soon can you take a look at it? That's what I did with my, with my chicken list um, doctor today. I asked him if I sent him a link to something that he could review so that he could get his mind refreshed. Would he go through it? Yes, he would. And I said, um, how soon would you be able to watch it? It's going to take about 15 minutes. You can take longer if you'd like. Um, and then, and then uh, he said that tomorrow would be the best time for me to call him back. I said, when would be the best time for us to talk again? And he said, tomorrow night, tomorrow evening. I said, okay, after seven, after eight, what would be best for you? And then he thought to himself, oh, I have this, I have that. Okay, about eight o'clock would be okay. I said, okay, great. Okay, so you go through that script so that you have your follow-up time. So how soon can you, can you see it for sure? If I contacted you then, you would have seen it and then um, confirm how you're going to get in touch with them. Could be a, a video call. I like video calls if possible, if you're trying to build that rapport, especially if it's someone that you didn't know before, because then you can actually see each other face to face and it makes a big difference. Um, then the six question close. This is the one I've been using and it has been super, super fun. If you've been using the six question close, can you put close into the chat for me? If you've been using the six, six question close, put the word close into the chat. I don't see any comments, so um, it might be that mine is not working, or maybe we'll get comments later. It's also fine, but if you have been using the six-figure close, the six-question close, put the the word close into the chat. So here's how it goes, and I've been loving it. Um, I did some of these today, and they really worked well. So of course, we always start every single time. We've known this for years and years and years. We always start every follow-up. Once we've confirmed they've seen the information, we ask them, what did you like best about what you saw? What did you like best about the presentation? What did you like best about the video? Okay, what did you find most interesting? It's always a question like that. And then what we have added through this 90 day run is, you know, so, and so, so then after they told you what they liked, oh, the science, oh yes, you're right, it's amazing. You know, um, so let me ask you something. If you were um, looking at this and getting involved as a business, 
Um, where would you put yourself on a scale of one to 10? If 10 is yes, I would love to do this as a business and one, no, I'm not at all interested. Where would you put yourself on that scale? Okay, whatever they answer is fine. Then you go to the next set of questions. So today, yesterday I got a six, today I got a seven or eight, um, and then one more that was up there, it was pretty good. Maybe another six or maybe a seven or eight. And I said, okay, fantastic. Now, assuming you were going to do this business part-time, how much money would you need to make per month in US dollars to make this worth your time? So how much money would you need to make per month in US dollars to make this worth your time? And they gave me an answer. Um, and and if, it's, if it's a really high number, then I usually start probing with them in asking them, you know, I know what they're already doing and I asked them how much they're making now. So one person that I spoke to today that we didn't get finished because he, he, the internet went off, we're talking tonight. Um, he said he's making about $350 now and, um, but he wanted to make $1,000, okay, a month. And he's working full-time for his $350. And I usually explore I will ask them, so how long have you been in the workforce? Okay, you've been in the workforce for seven years. You're making $350, but you'd want to be making $1,000 part-time. So I'm just, you know, kind of painting a picture so that they don't think, okay, $1,000 in the first two minutes working an hour a day, right? We want to make sure that it's realistic. So how much would you want to make? I like to get it in US dollars so that we're all on the same uh, wavelength in our currency. And then how many hours per month or per day? I asked them per day, how many hours per day could you put into this business part-time to get up to that income of $1,000 a month? They'll tell me. If they say however many hours, I will also then equate that to a week. Okay, good, two to three hours a day, fantastic. So that would be maybe 10 to 15 hours a week. Would that be fair enough? Great, wonderful. Then how many months um, would you be willing to put in those 10 to 15 hours a week to reach your $1,000 per month income? And if it doesn't all work out um, perfectly, then I will just massage it a bit for them to have them see that their full-time income is X, Y, Z. They're looking to make this. It took them this long and this many years of study to get to that. So it would be okay if it might take them, you know, six months or maybe, you know, longer, but they'd be willing to work at it. Would that be okay as long as they could see progress? Oh, yes, absolutely, they would say. So then the next question is, if I, if I could show you how to get to your $1,000 a month income target, by working 15 hours a week and you know getting there within maybe six months to a year would you be ready to get started and the answer is usually yes and so then what i do is i tell them how to start here's how much it costs when can you make your payment um and if they if they don't say right now if they say by the weekend it's fine salaries are coming but if they say oh that will be in one month, two months, or whatever it will be, then I ask them if money is the only issue. And if money is the only issue, then we, um, we set an assignment. So the other thing that um, we do that I've been doing is I've been adding the crucial conversation. Once I get a yes, which to me is a decision, I will then go into the crucial conversation. So the crucial conversation is um, for your new people and even for any of your existing team members. So the crucial conversation is, you know, congratulations, this is amazing. This is going to be so fantastic. You are going to be great in this business, right? Just reassuring them and then letting them know that your goal is to have them become independent of you, right? My goal is to have you become ind independent of me because, of course, we're going to work together. But once you can work independently, you're also going to be able to train your own team and build your business to be that much bigger. Do you agree that's a good goal? Yes, great. Then I will tell them, remember, I'm so you can either have this as a standalone. I've been using it the last little while as part of my clothes. And I've really been I've really been liking it because it sets up the pace. So um, what I will say to them is, you know, after I say, if I could show you a way to get to your income goal within this time, blah, blah, blah. And they say, yes, I say, great. 
So that's fantastic. I ask them when they're going to be ready to pay. And I tell them that, um, that I am there to work with them personally, every step of the way and to guide them. That we have a lot of support and training available from the company, from our team, but that I will be there to work with them personally and to guide them every step of the way. But I can only work with those people who are willing, coachable, and hungry. And I ask them if that is what they are. And I tell them by our conversation, I think that's you. Would you, would you say that that's true? Oh, yes, good. And I said, well, here's, well, here's how I'm going to know if you're willing, coachable, and hungry. I am going to be giving you assignments step by step. I'm going to give you an assignment. You're going to come back and tell me it's done. If you don't know how to do it or you need more time or you're unsure of something, then you come back and say, okay, I need more time, which is fine. But if I give you assignments and I just never hear from you, then that probably means that I shouldn't be spending my personal time with you. Does that make sense? Oh, yes, makes sense. I said, you know, if you went to school to do what you're doing now and you never went to class and you never did any of your assignments, you probably would have failed at whatever you're doing today. Is that right? Yes. Well, if you don't come to class and you don't do your assignments, then chances are you're not going to succeed in this business either. So that's really important. So I'm going to give you your first assignment. Okay. Now, if they, if they, they've already said yes, that they, that they're joining, but maybe they don't have money. If money is the only thing that's stopping them, um, then I will give them an assignment of writing down 20 people who have a health challenge in their family or for themselves that could afford the product or who are 40 and above who could afford the product. I tell them, don't speak to them yet. Just write them down in the next 24 to 48 hours and come back to me. If they, if they have the money and they can pay or they're going to pay in the next week or so, then I give them a challenge of writing down 100 names of people they know. Don't talk to them. Just write 100 names of people they know and that we are going to set a launch event for them. Okay, that's what I've been doing. It might be too hard. Let's see. Let's see. Remember, if the challenge is too hard, the assignment is too hard, we come back and we ratchet it down a bit. So one of the things that I did today that was really, really fun is I did some um, live calls um, with, I, I just had Marcel on the line listening to me because I wanted her to see if it was audible. So I opened up my Zoom room and then I did live follow-up and calls myself with my own prospects so that I wanted her to see if she could actually hear what I was saying and hear what my prospect was saying. And when I started in, in our business, Mike Lebrun used to do those calls regularly and it was amazing. It, it, it gave me so much um, clarity you know, sometimes you hear about these things and you wonder, is it, am I saying it the right way? How do I say it? I'm not sure. It's just helpful when you can listen to someone. So one of the things that I thought might be helpful now, it might be, uh, it might be as boring as watching paint dry, but if, if people would think it would be helpful, I don't mind maybe having, you know, a couple of hours of open time here and there where if people want to, they can dial in to Zoom, no recording allowed, and just listen to me do my calls. You, you'd be muted, but I would be doing calls. I might get nobody. I might get someone. Um, when I do my full call, the two today that I did with Marcel listening, they were 15 minutes, okay? But we went right through, and it was a follow-up, all right? Follow-up, and they both said yes. So if anyone thinks that would be helpful, um, if, you, if you think that might be interesting, uh, drop a yes, and then I will think about how to best do that. Okay, if you don't think it's helpful, because it might be really dull, it's also totally fine. I'm going to do it for myself. Of course, I need to be doing more calls. And um, we'll see how we go from there. So that's it. I'm going to stop this sharing and see if anyone has any questions at all. I can see we have quite a few of you on the on the line, but I don't see any comments or questions. So it might also be that um, I can't see them on my device, or maybe there aren't any, which is also totally fine. All right, so that is our call for tonight. 
Thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. Um, just get into action, guys. Don't worry if you're doing the 90 day run fully, fully, fully. Okay, if you can't do it fully, fully, if you can't devote so much time, try and do at least the five by five DMO. Okay, every day identify five new prospects, start five new conversations, five new exposures, five follow ups, and five yes or no answers. Okay, five decisions. So try and do the, the five by five DMO just so that you have yourself in action. Most times when you're doing a 90 day run, your team members are not doing it with you. It's too overwhelming. So try and get them at least engaged in a DMO, a daily method of operation. And, and I'm, I'm trying the five by five for people that the, the 90 day run is too much and let's see how it goes. But even if it's you know three by three, <coughs> try and get people into some sort of action. All right, so thank you everybody. Thanks for listening. And I hope you got some value from today. Have an awesome, awesome rest of your day.